friends, welcome back to Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Look how incredible these brand new Marvel Legends look. They came out not too long ago, and man, I really want to thank Hasbro for sending these our way. This is the Wendigo Build-A-Figure series, and there are so many great X-Men and X-Force New Mutants here, and so you're not going to want to miss this. So before we get started, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And let us know where in the world you're watching from. Check out how great that looks. So guys, what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right? Now. So nice to meet you, Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi. Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. Vince and Gigi from Super Channel G. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Congratulations on all your success. Hey friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Man, I am so incredibly excited to finally get started with these. Again, I want to thank you Hasbro for sending these to us. You are so amazing and thank you for being such a wonderful friend to us. So we're going to go ahead and get started, but let's see who exactly is in here. We have Wolverine, Marvel's Cannonball, Marvel's Boom Boom, Marvel's Guardian, Nightcrawler, and Mr. Sinister. And wow, look at this Build-A-Figure for Wendigo. Looks absolutely amazing. I can't wait to jump right on in. And man, these look great. So um, let me set some of these aside so we definitely have enough room. And we'll go ahead and get started. What do you say? All right. So first, we have Wolverine and Uncanny X-Force outfit. Look at that. This looks absolutely amazing, and it comes with a head right here, and it looks absolutely great. Look at those red eyes. So, look at this wonderful artwork here on the side. Look at that. And let's see if it's a mirror image or what it is on the other side. Absolutely is right there. Looks so great. And then take a look at the back. I'm assuming that's the exact same picture right there, but now that we get uh, like a zoom out shot, uh, shot of that, it looks absolutely great. Amazing pose, beautiful artwork, and look at this background right here. So again, look who's in it, and let's take a look. And of course, Wolverine comes with the head. So, Wolverine. Wolverine joins the militant group of super beings known as the X-Force, using his powerful adamantium claws to slash down opposition. Jeez, looks so great. And let's just pop him right out because we've been waiting a good while for this, and let me tell you, this set looks pretty awesome. Especially, especially this Wolverine Nightcrawler and Mr. Sinister, I'm sure you'll agree. So let's, let's take a look. And then let's not forget how Wolverine's not super tall. So let's pop out this Wendigo head and just take a close look real quick. Make sure we stay in focus. And look at that, I like the way that Hair kind of fades from white to blue. And look at that. I don't know if it's supposed to look bloody like that on the teeth, but definitely adds a nice touch, or if it's the paint coming off, but either way, both ways it works. And look, also with red eyes. There we go. Where's uh, Ben Stein when you need him? All right. We'll go ahead and set that aside. Let's take a look at our Wolverine. Let me tell you, he looks pretty amazing. Now, I want to take a look right off the bat. Sorry. <laughs> I had to hiccup or something. At these blades right here. Look at his claws. I love how they're big and bulky. And this is different than the claws we've been used to, which are definitely tons thinner. But doesn't it look absolutely amazing? I'm like, don't I have another one right here, right around here somewhere? I'm sure I do, but... Uh, anyway, this looks so great. I'm definitely loving it, and I wonder if the claws, they probably just pop right on out here. So if you go like this, they probably pop right on out, because that's usually what they do in the other figures. So let's take a look at this head. 
Let's see what sort of ooh, mobility. I was like, well, I guess it only goes so far back. So and be careful with the the mask blades because you don't want to break those because they're actually a lot stiffer than I thought they'd be. The head doesn't go as far back as I thought it might. The head definitely goes pretty far down and then barely pivots to the side but definitely turns. All right? And I love that we have the the butterfly joint right there so his arms go further back and further in. So that's outstanding. Look at that. All right. And then it, um, we have double joints to the elbows. It moves above the bicep. And we got some pretty decent um, articulation here. It moves slightly more than a 90 degree angle. And let's see, do the shoulders go all the way around? They do. And they're kind of just like, um, they're kind of stiff, which I guess is all right, as long as it moves. Because I definitely don't want them loose. Let's see, it turns right here at the waist. He's got an extreme ab crunch. Look at that, it looks great. Um, we move well right here with the double joints at the knees. And then the double, uh, you have it, it can turn right here on the high part of the thigh. And uh, man, great. So we have some awesome articulation right here at the hip joint. So that's awesome. And look at the beautiful detail. Look, he even got, uh, right here they even gave him some arm hair, which is like a few brush strokes. So, all right, that looks awesome. We can turn his wrists, they go back and forth. So that looks cool. And uh, I'm so glad we can't move that boot on the high part, because I don't dig that. But we definitely have some good articulation right here on the ankle as it can pivot and turn back, uh, go back and forth. So this Wolverine is pretty awesome. Let's zoom in just a little bit right here. And I said a little bit, but we got right up on there. And look how great this looks. So we can definitely create some really outstanding poses. And belt looks cool. It's loose, which I would have preferred to just be attached, but. Nonetheless, looks looks pretty awesome. So let's have him lean on in right here. Oop. And how do we want this to work out? So definitely, definitely looks awesome. There we go. And let me just see if I can get his feet to stand well. All right, and this will definitely work. He's kind of having someone like, come on with his claws, come on over here, and then this one ready to whoosh, strike right here. So look at that. He's kind of on his back leg in a defensive mode and ready to pounce. Whoosh. So really love the way this pose looks. Looks pretty awesome. Pretty simple. Just suggest it so that, you know, maybe you want to do something similar. And we'll set him up right on over here. So there we go. We'll put Logan right there. Looks absolutely wonderful. And we'll bring him bring him in just a little more. In a little bit. Alright, let's move on. What do you say? Alright, and next we're gonna open Nightcrawler, of course, from the X-Men. And this Nightcrawler comes with three interchangeable heads. Isn't that amazing? That's definitely a premium feature, so I'm digging that. And then we have another hand to swap out, and we have a sword. And the tail looks pretty cool. Hopefully it's posable. But that's awesome, especially because, you know, Wolverine didn't come with any accessories. It would have been nice to have had maybe a head to swap out something. But anyway, maybe a hands that we can swap out. But nonetheless, that Wolverine is awesome. And this Nightcrawler is equally as awesome. Look at this. As far as I can tell. This beautiful artwork on the side. Look at that mirror image, right? Let's take a look at the back right on over here. Marvel Legends. I mean, come on. Doesn't get any better than this. But this beautiful artwork right here. And we're actually gonna jump over here to number five because this is, I couldn't wait. And so this is the left arm of Wendigo. And let's see what it says right here in the back. Right, look at this great artwork. With sticky hands, a sharp tail, and piercing yellow eyes, the troublemaking mutant nightcrawler scales walls and teleports from place to place. Cool, and I love the way this background looks. We're just bursting out right here. So, let's pop them on out, and let's take a look. There we are. Nice. Look how awesome this looks. Wow, take a look at that. All right, let's pop them on out. Ooh, look at this tail. 
so we definitely need to oh is it posable or is it just soft i don't know but it looks like it spins so that's kind of cool we'll take a look at that that's awesome all right i guess let's pop out this wendigo arm and it's cool how it's got, it has little hints of blue so that looks cool we'll set that aside right over here and let's just get our night crawler out Come on, Nightcrawler. There we go, and look at this awesome heads right here. Look at that. Cool. Well, I guess we may as well get the sword right here. This swashbuckler. And the, the hand, let's see. I'm assuming it holds it, so let's see. This is that one right there. Take a look at this. I don't know how I feel about the way that it, the paint looks kind of rushed for the hair, but I definitely like that face he's got going on right there. I love how the eyes, you know, I think they're supposed to be yellowish, but they look kind of lime greenish, so yeah, they're yellow, but just got that hint, I guess, because of how it looks with the blue. All right, head goes that far back, comes that far forward. It's kind of loose, look at that. But let me tell you, the mold for this head looks great. Wow, the head actually goes that far back. So that's incredible. See the head sort of turns and pivots. Um, I love this detail right here on his outfit. And he's got an amazing ab crunch, look at that. Okay, so the arms, they go all the way around. This doesn't really restrict it. Um, it will hit it and force it to go out, but nah, you're still pretty good. All right, we got double joints right here at the elbow, so we can come into about almost a 45 degree angle. And moves right up here above the bicep. Same thing on this one. Looks great. Turn that right there. Wrist goes back and forth and around. Look at that. So this hand is closed and looks like this one's really made to hold a sword. Looks a little odd, but look, this one pivots this way and turns so that we can hold the sword. So clearly that one's made for the sword. And then of course that goes that far in. We can move at the waist, which is awesome. And let's see, double joints of the knees, great articulation, and then um, comes all the way up to here on the hips. The hips I'm moving this little like ball in the stick joint. So this is some pretty great articulation right there. Look at that. And this tail does spin, so it's soft and it does not have a wire in it. I thought maybe you could pose it, but it spins is what it does. But it's already looking pretty cool. Look at that. That spear tail. And then let's look at his feet. His feet, the toes and feet do not move, but it does pivot and go back and forth. Look at the detail on his, I guess, what would be his boots, I guess. Look pretty awesome. And let's put this sword in here if it fits. I mean, this is, there we go. Just kind of jam it in there. I can, Definitely have them looking pretty rad like this. Look at that. Yes! I'm digging that. Look at that. Wow. So, looks amazing. I'm digging it. Let's just look at the other heads, I guess. So, and then. I'm digging the one that's already on there. This looks almost the same, except it's got him blacked out on the on the top part of his face, and then you know, screaming, yelling, <laughs> hissing, whatever you want to say on that one. And then this one, he's just kind of smiling. They're all really great head molds. Let me say that. So I love the sculpt on them. The ears look great. Everything. So I'm very pleased with this Nightcrawler. Let's set this box aside. And we will be moving on to the next one. Ooh, if I can get this to go back in the box. Come on, box. Back in the box. All right, let's set him up right over here. Let me tell you, that looks absolutely great. All right, let's move on. What do you say? So next, we have Mr. Sinister. And man, this is a heavy box. Of course, also from the X-Men. And look at that. Speaking of sinister, and look again with the red eyes. So, 
Look at this awesome artwork. Wow, the action figure actually looks better than the artwork. The artwork, artwork looks cool, but this looks even better right here. Look at that. And looks like the same art right here in the back. And this one, he is number six. Comes with the other arm, the right arm. And here we are. So it says, Mr. Sinister. And let's zoom in just a bit. A scientific genius with evil intentions, Nathaniel Essex genetically alters his human form to become the shape-shifting telepath known as Mr. Sinister. Great. And let's just pop them on open. All right. Wow, look at that. And he looks tons different than, um, than the Toy Biz version that we have, that we had in our um, Box of Legends first dream box of legends that we that we ever reviewed so check this out this is cool all right so let's set this aside take a look at that in a little bit and wow look at this cape this double cape here let's just push them out and then we'll pull that out ever so carefully we will not tear any part of it let's do that he has no um accessories so that is notable Side right here. Let's take a look at this. So, um, first of all, his head sculpt is pretty cool. Um, maybe could have had little texture, but you know, still looks great. Head goes. Um, it's pretty awesome how how it turns and goes um, back and forth. So that looks awesome with his chin. And then this cape is, you know, so thick but soft plastic. So that looks awesome. This is also so it looks like it's hard plastic, but it's not. And then we have a double cape action going on right here. And it looks like it's just perhaps stuck in there and then glued. So that's kind of cool. And look how it's like, it's not all individual strands. So that's also noteworthy. It has the appearance of it, but it's not. So let's see. This will restrict the movement of the arm, but it's soft. So it's not too bad. Um, we have. Ugh, I don't want to break the arm. Look at that. You see, I was applying a lot of force, so let me reinforce the arm as I move it in. There we go. I don't know why I'm stuck here, but I might definitely do not want to break the arm of this Mr. Sinister, so I'll be fine with that. Um, you notice that was a lot of force I was putting in there, and I don't want to break them, so the wrist moves pretty easily. And let's see this arm. This arm moves tons easier but it doesn't even come into 90 degree angle so that's also something you want to take note of worth mentioning um, we can move the wrist back and forth and around I'm really digging this the way this hand looks open right here and let's see this cuff right here is loose um, supposed to be but it'd be nice if it was just glued on there which maybe I can do myself his ab crunch only goes that far but uh, back but it comes pretty far forward and let's see I don't know if this is loose but I would like it to stay where it's at moves right here at the waist and then um he's got really heavy duty knee joints so that's good especially because he's like a bigger bulkier character and he's wearing like thigh high boots in case you didn't notice um oh and that's where the joint is so it's on the high part of the thigh but not the not all the way up here like it normally is it's right here where the boot is just so you can see what i'm talking about and you know we got a pretty good hip joint right there extend that and then we have another cuff right here to make these little boots um, the ankle actually moves a whole lot easier than you would anticipate so it's got pretty good mobility and articulation there there we go and so same thing on this one so no accessories so we can't swap out any heads um, it looks like the um, the cape helps them stand pretty well and how do we want to, to pose him this is almost like a Colossus body, but smaller, the way it looks right here. I like the way it's kind of um, metallic, and then the red right here, so that looks absolutely great. So, how do we how do we want to pose them? There we go, maybe we can have them plotting. Have a hand in his pocket, and plotting. <laughs> there we are. There we are. I think that'll work. So, it's good enough for now. You can always pose them later, also. But I'm digging that. So, we'll do that. We'll set them right on over here. 
And come on, Nightcrawler. I'm gonna need you falling down on the job here. There we go. Okay, he'd probably fall over again anyway, but nonetheless, he looks really cool. There. Oh, there it was. Spoke too soon. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and move on and we'll arrange him in a little bit. Let's see what we got next. And now we're moving on to, of course, our Alpha Flight Marvel's Guardian. Look how cool this looks. Now, I'm a little disappointed because I want some sort of accessory on him, but nonetheless, here we are. So look how great this looks. Package looks awesome. Look at this. The same art on all three. And he comes with number four. Um, I guess the chest and torso and the tail, I believe, too. So look at that. Marvel's Guardian, donning the maple leaf symbol of his home. James Hudson suits up in advanced battle armor and protects the Earth as Guardian. It's a pretty cool looking drawn hand right there. So I'm definitely digging the way that art looks back there. Let's get him open. Let's get, ooh, stuck here. I don't want to tear the box. Come on, how are we stuck here? There we go. All right, and man, this one is going to be massive. And then, in case you haven't noticed, it very much so looks like the Sasquatch body. What's this? How come I got like gunk on mine? If I can't just. What's the deal there? How could you possibly get that dirty without ever having been out? Anyway, so there's the tail. And let's get our guardian out. So he looks cool. But I'm just a little disappointed there's no uh, no accessories, no hands to swap out because I don't like having two fists. Um, unless we can swap the hands out. But um, in any event, we'll set that aside. Let's take a look at our guardian. He's got a pretty cool face sculpt. Uh, looks like his paint's coming off a little bit here. Or paint ended up getting right under his nose right here. Yeah, it's a decent head sculpt. Head moves, got great articulation. You can turn a little bit. So we have great neck articulation, I will say that. The arms move really fluid. And let's see, can we get the shoulder to come down? Ugh, the shoulder stuck, so we're gonna have to heat it up at some point. Look, it's even like going around, so. I can apply pressure. To the actual shoulder. Oh, I don't want to crack that off, so I'll leave that as it is right now. We can always adjust that later. We have double joints right here, and let's see how far the arms come in. Uh, not quite 45, but they definitely come in. And the wrists go back and forth and around. So there's the maple leaf, and he's got really good ab crunch back and forth. Moves right here at the waist, and um, we have. Some pretty decent double joints at the knees, but uh, it's a lot looser than I, you would think. But it definitely is fluid motion. Um, it has this, which looks like it's the extra joint right there on the shin, but I don't like that, so I'm not going to move it because if I don't move it, it'll at least stay stiffer longer. And then we'll uh, check out this um, part of his foot right there. That ankle moves well, and. You know, we have red on this side and not on this side. And trying to stay true to that uniform. So, how do we want him to look? What sort of pose do we want him doing? Put him with this. There we go. Maybe we'll just have him kind of like... That'll definitely work right there. But for me... And something just simple and strong. Look at that. I just want the head up, want the head down. Look at that. You can even bring the the wrists in a little bit, a little bit, not so much. Look at that. That looks awesome. The only thing is, I just wish he had more with him than just just that, but. There we go. Looks cool. And we'll set them right on over here. 
but that looks awesome. All right, just this, just a smidge, and that looks pretty good. All right, let's move on to our last two. Next, we have Marvel's Boom Boom. Of course, X Force. Look how great that looks. This is with the leg, and let's see, we have the number three, the left leg. Look how great that looks. This is awesome artwork right here. I love the coloring on this. Looks absolutely wonderful. And look at those glasses. Look at those earrings. Looks like gem earrings. So it's truly outrageous. And yeah. So let's get this. Let's get this box open and let's take a look to see what it says. Man, that looks really cool. You see your power is kind of swishing around right there. So Marvel's Boom Boom. Tabitha Smith, alias Boom Boom manipulates energy to create explosive time bombs that she can detonate at any moment. That's kind of cool. All right, let's pop her on out. Let's take a look right here. And wow, that looks really cool, this little accessory. Let's the leg. Check that out. Doesn't that look great? Put that right over here. And cool, we have um, an additional hand. Oh, I see why. Pop her on out. Um, the two heads, one with the bubble gum, one without. Looks like almost the exact same head, except one has the bubble gum. So I'm probably going to pop that off and get the one that doesn't have bubble gum. I don't know if I want her just blowing bubbles the entire time. Ooh, that's not gonna work. We're gonna put it back here protruding too far and we have power right here and I'll take this hand out why you ask because this hand looks really cool look at this and it does this but it's kind of like can't really do much with that although it looks great so we'll see um, here's this head it's really cool a little bit of visor paint got on the ear and I don't know if it's supposed to have that white right there just randomly on there but here we go there we go it's the easiest way for me to put them on there is kind of just that so it doesn't bounce around it goes really far back and really far forward look at this um this little vest right here little vest jacket that looks cool the color of this pink looks great and unfortunately the, the elbow does not come into a full 90 degree angle so that's unfortunate but still a good sculpt let's see the arms go all the way around. They go out pretty well. Look at that. And yep, the head moves really well. Let's see. The um, ab crunch isn't like that's pretty. It's pretty all right. Look at that. We can pivot right there. It does not move at the waist. You can see the belly button. So we've been used to this um, uh, sculpt before. And then this this belt's a little too loose for my liking. I'm probably gonna have to glue it down so it doesn't keep bouncing around like that because it's like so crazy look at that all right so this hand moves back and forth and we can actually match both hands look at that uh but we'll look at that in a minute and then where does this go this just fell all the way down i'm assuming that's for her thigh um let's see the hips and they come pretty high up so that's awesome look at that we can move this one too we got great um knee joints right there the double joints and the boots let's see now we go back and forth oh this is loose too back and forth and it's there we go it wasn't really moving it was just uh let me bend it and then we have that pivot right there so it's working on both put that back down and so let's see this hand right here so that looks it actually looks really cool look at that so how do we want this to happen? So, we can definitely do this, right? But don't we want it to like, almost, almost like go up like that? Wouldn't that be cool? And how do we have this? Just supposed to hold it? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, the high part of the thigh. Is it Working with me. There we go. Let me see if I can get a better pose. Give me a second. Let me get this. Okay, what I decided to do is go very simple, 
Look at that. But a very dynamic pose, even though it's simple. Look at that. And when you do this right here, look how dynamic that looks. Looks great. Just give her a big power stance. And there we go. Simple. Although she's kind of rocking back and forth. Gotta find her center of balance right there. That looks great. I'm really digging that. And we can just have her right over here. So I'm digging the way that looks. And I switched the hand out. And have this, I'm just put this back over here. And this over here. And you know, just live with that, it looks great. So, all right, I guess if we have the hand up, we could do that with that one, but meh, we'll move on. Looks, looks great. All right, I'm gonna put this in this box right here. We will move on. Okay. And the last box we have to open before we do our Build-A-Figure is Marvel's Cannonball. Of course, X-Force also. And so the top half of them looks pretty cool. And um, of course, I'll give you my opinion. But um, look at this cool artwork right here. It looks great all around. And look at that. It's like blasting off right there. He comes with number two, which is the right leg. And back here it says, Marvel's Cannonball. Samuel Guthrie creates a powerful force field to fly at superhuman speeds as a leader of the new mutants known as Cannonball. So, looks great. Cool concept. Um, I would have really liked him to come with legs so we could swap out and not just be permanently this blast, this volcano blast right here. So, take this out and let me just say that was a bit of a disappointment. Although it looks cool, I like how it's like translucent. But let's get them on out of here. Oh no. Oh, that's a first. I just completely busted on me there. Had a blowout. <laughs> that was loud too. Let's set that aside right there. And let's take another look. All right. So now if we look at just the top half, it's got some you know, it looks pretty awesome. Look at that. Got the headgear going. Got those, um, those eyepieces right there. So we can that eye gear and we can move his head pretty well. Turn. Look at that. This is soft plastic. Look at this hair sculpt and the paint job. That looks awesome. Look at this jacket. Looks awesome. The arms move well. Ugh! I can't get his arm to go in anymore. Oh, I guess it can't. I just thought it was stuck. It can't because it moves pretty well like that. It moves in the high part of the bicep. Um, right here, the double joints at the elbows actually move really well. Look at that. The wrist. So there's some great articulation mobility here. Look at the cuffs on the um, gloves. And then he moves right here at the waist. Now, the unfortunate part is that's it. This is a big old hollow thing. And although it looks cool-ish, you know, what are we going to do? Have him like blasting forward like that. Because that's about it. We can have him like. <sighs> but otherwise, we wouldn't have him blasting off and then. Like, um. Looking back too much, right? Look at that. Because then he's taken off that way. <sighs> but. I will say this, the sculpt of this does look kind of cool. I love the way it's kind of textured right there and, and the way it blends from yellow to orange. So that does look cool, so I'm not gonna take that away from it. But, um, but yeah, maybe the follow through on this character could have been a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and just, so I'm gonna say he does have an ab crunch, a little, but okay. So we'll set him aside over here. And, you know, Maybe not my favorite figure in the series here, but uh, in any event, we definitely needed him to complete our Wendigo. So let's put him right there. And all right, we'll move on. And last but not least, we do have our Build-A-Figure. All right, and let's get everything situated to where we need to have it, right? Get this looking good here. His arm, his 
tail. There we go. Cool. Make sure we have everything in our shot. And here's the head. So let's start there. Look how great this looks. And look how soft the hair actually is. So that's cool. So let's pop this right on in here. And look how this looks. So it gets stuck right here. And there we go. So it kind of clicks. And that looks pretty cool already. Look at that. It looks definitely fierce. And we can pop this right on in here. Oop. Jeez. There we are. That looks great. And wow, it moves nice and smooth. We'll put the left arm on. And his joints are extremely smooth. Look at that. And then, oh, he's got brown hair too. All right. Let's put this tail on right here. And get that stuck on there. And let's put his legs right here. Just twist. And he's definitely a big figure. Look at that. And, you know, if you want, um, you can definitely pose him pretty well. You know, I'm digging the way he looks. He actually looks a, uh, a lot better than, than I even anticipated. So I have to keep scooting back. I'm sorry, because I am not getting him fully in the shot. I'm sorry. Well, let's take a look. So, of course, we're looking at the head. And it clicks right here for the shoulders, but it moves really well. Look at that. Okay, it moves in the high part of the bicep. And he's got a single joint on the elbow, so it doesn't even come into 90 degree angle, but still moves well. It's nice and bulky. Got great texture, great mold. Ooh, pop the hand out when I was just trying to just trying to make his, his wrist move. Look at that. Okay. So it turns, got big claws. And let's see, he's heavy, so his legs kind of they don't stay put. Yeah, might have to support them. Okay, those move and go around. Look, he's got these huge claws. I love the detail. Look at that. They made him look furry. And look at his big old coat, mane. The tail turns because that's all it has right there. And yeah, he's got like He-Man <laughs> look right there. He's got a big joint right here on the, on the knees. He double joints. And right here at the hip, it moves really well and solid. And turns right there on the high part of the thigh and so yeah great the ankle moves really well and pivots and tilts and yep so he's worth it he's awesome and remember we did the, the Hulk and um, Wolverine first Ooh, that wasn't <laughs> that was very unexpected and Wolverine uh, first appearance Marvel Legends that came out not too long ago well it showed him in the background, remember? So let's move this. And let's have him lean forward a little bit. And let's just have him like, like wanting to eat something. Eat someone. So tell me that doesn't look amazing, right? So that looks absolutely great. Let's get everybody set up. And let's take a look one last time before we dip out for today. So. Let's see what I got. Let's set everybody up. All right, this is definitely gonna work for me. Look how great this looks. Just everybody set up right here. And guys, I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with us here today. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And yeah, let us know where in the world you're watching from. And after this, maybe you can make it back to our channel page so you can see all the other cool Marvel Legends and other reviews we've done. So until next time guys, thanks for watching Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.